What's up, everybody? It's your favorite IFPB pro, Seth Pro, here with some whiteboard workouts. Oh, you mother love it. Okay, uh, I've got to bleep that first word out so YouTube likes us again when we get back in the other one. But anyway, before we get started, everyone, I am doing a tour this year. It is going to be Squats with Seth on Sundays. Please make sure that you guys go follow me on Instagram for all of the details. We are going to six different locations this year. Saturday, we're doing meet and greets at some of the stores that have supported us for years. And then on Sunday, we're going to do squats in the morning until somebody pukes, ass to grass, weights clanging, nuts hanging, all the fun shit. We're going to fuck people up on Sunday mornings. It is going to be beautiful. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram for all the details. Uh, this is support your local community type of deal because there's a lot of stores that have supported us for years. And then we wanted them to reach out to the gyms that they have relationships with so we can go in and do some really cool shit in your community. All right, so on to today's workout, we are going to be doing pull, which is back, buys, and then we're going to touch on some forearms. But before we get started here, this is a question that a lot of people ask. Seth, which one's better, push, pull, legs versus bro split? This is a separate video in itself, but real quick. I like both of these programs, okay? They both serve a purpose, and that's something that you have to decide in your life. What is your priorities? What are your capabilities within life? Because the biggest thing is, whenever you do a bro split, we're talking about five to six days a week of training, and you have to be able to dedicate each day to that because we know if we miss a day in the gym throughout this whole program, it fucks the entire week up because usually we need five to six days to fit everything in here. Whereas push-pull legs is a three-day split and we're hitting all the body parts within three days. So man, that opens up a lot of opportunity and a lot of room for prioritizing and making sure your life still somehow can fit in without fucking your whole regular day life up. Follow me? Cool. So I like both. Me personally, whenever I was a bodybuilder and I was fucking stiff dick in the world as a pro, pro split. This is what built my motherfucking physique. It built my physique and I will never run away from it because it fucking works. However, you have to be fucking ingrained in it and dedicated to it 100%. And I was always trained one body part per week. That's just how it was and annihilate that motherfucker. As you can see from some of my workouts that had 30 fucking sets in them. I was a big volume guy. But on push-pull legs, we're able to kind of control and prioritize different body parts and what I'm about to break down here. Last year, I did push-pull legs and functional and fuckable. And I think that I was in the absolute best cardiovascular shape and I wasn't a fucking pussy. I was pretty strong, but I was incredibly functional and I still looked great. I still had low body fat. I ate incredibly well, very well-balanced diet. Push-pull legs and functional and fuckable, I think I was in the best shape of my life. So, I like them both. Built my physique. I was in the best shape of my life from a cardiovascular standpoint and looked pretty fucking good. All right, but today we're doing pull day, back, buys, and forearms. Now, whenever you're doing this and you have push-pull legs and you're three days a week, you could do push day, pull day, leg day, push day, pull day. You could split your thing up like that. Or you could do push day, pull day, leg day, off day, and then that next day that you do could be a prioritization of what is lacking? Like, are your buys lacking? Or is your back lacking? Is your arms lacking? What's lacking on you? And you could pick that extra day up that week. So now you had push pull legs and day off, and then a prioritization of another pull day or another push day, or you could start the whole rotation over. Okay, so you have a lot of opportunity. And you can split it up to push pull legs, and then is today on back day gonna be a mass building day or a volume day? Well, we're doing volume. Is it something we're focusing on thickness or are we focusing on width today? Well, we're going to have a little bit of both, but we're going to more or less focus on the width. Which one is our priority? Which one sucks worse on you? Are we going to start with back first or are we going to start with buys first? What's the priority? We're starting with back first. Now, what's cool about the push-pull leg split is that when you're doing it, like I said, push-pull legs, day off, and then do push-pull again or pick that prioritization, we could say, fuck it, on one day we're gonna do volume, on the other back day, pull day, we're gonna do mass building, focus on thickness, and we're gonna do buys first. Pretty cool, you have a lot of opportunity to keep your workouts fresh, to keep you excited about going to the gym, because if your priority is just to look good fucking naked, and not so much like, I'm dedicated to a show on May 16th and I'm gonna be fucking nasty and look crazy, if that is your goal, I'm always for the bro split. 
However, if your goal is just to look good fucking naked, kill shit and stiff dick the old lady and not be <gasps> breathing all heavy on top of her and look great in the mirror for yourself and all that happy shit, I love push-pull legs with functional and fuckable, okay? That's me personally. That's what I've realized over the past 12 weeks of training and doing this transformation is the fact that I absolutely hate fucking low carb days. I hate them. I didn't enjoy the high carb day because I felt lethargic throughout the day. The workout was nuts and I looked fucking like a, a mutant swelled up alien, but I didn't feel like good. I felt incredible whenever I'm eating a well-balanced diet, not low carbs or not low fat, well-balanced diet of about 200 to 250 grams of carbohydrates, about 100, 150, even 200 grams of fat on certain days, and 230 to 240 grams of protein. Push pull legs and functional and fuckable. Throughout this whole process, that's what I've learned. And remember, the only way to find all this stuff out is to experiment and try it out for yourself. So, today we're doing pool day, just for the video and have some fun. Uh, go into the bio of this, of this uh, video so that you can see the exact breakdown because we're not going to go through the sets and reps, but you'll be able to go in there and then you'll see the workout and it'll be cool. I still have a caffeine addiction. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to start with bent over barbell rows, reverse grip. I love it. Uh, then with that, we're going to superset wide grip pull downs. So we're going to get the heavy pull, nice thickness on the, um, on the, on the back, nice, thick, heavy pulls and then work right into a um, uh, pull down. And I just love the blood flow of that. I love the upbeat. I like the intensity of it because we're fresh. We're at the beginning of our workout. We got a little bit of carbs in us. Everything's pumping, crazy back pump. Then we're gonna work into a one arm row movement. You can either use the hammer strength row or you can do one arm dumbbell rows. After that, this is the width part. We're gonna go into seated wide grip cable rows. Now, I personally like the power grip whenever we have a neutral, a neutral handle, your hands are in a neutral position, and a nice squeeze. Now, remember, whenever we're doing this, if you pull down to your uh, belly button, you're gonna feel it in your lower lats more. You start pulling up, you're gonna feel it in your upper back more. Then after that, we're going to uh, start, we're gonna take our intro workout, get everything moving, and then we're gonna work into a forearm focused bicep uh, workout. We're gonna have reverse grip cable, cur uh, reverse grip barbell curls, Everybody fucking hates reverse grip barbell curls. They suck dick. I fucking hate them. However, they work. They work in thickening the bicep and working on the forms and the brachialis and give you that nice separation whenever you're sitting there and you just want to look jacked and flex without flexing. And especially you have your form, your brachialis, you'll start to see it all happen in the separation. That's what we're really going to focus on. Whenever I do these exercises, remember, I think of somebody in my head, like I was saying how I think I'm Phil Heath hitting the fucking glute shot from the front. Uh, Lee Priest, it's all I think about when I'm doing these. I'm just fucking Lee Priest, yeah. Even though my forearms are like a fucking quarter of his. Uh, then after that, another fucking hated bicep exercise, incline dumbbell curls. Hate them, but they do fucking work and they are incredible at focusing on overall development of the bicep, killer exercise. Hate them, killer exercise. After that, we're gonna go into a concentration cable curl movement where we're just focusing on the contraction of the bicep, looking at it, watching it happen, watching it squeeze, good shit. And then we're gonna do wrist curl burnouts where we're gonna put our hands on top, of a, on top of the pad there, do the wrist curls up, okay? Get that, get the dumbbells and do your wrists and then lean over and put the barbell in our hands and just uh, roll the barbell in our hands and focus on uh, getting the forearm pump. That's it. Let's take the pre-workout and get this bitch going. Carbohydrates. I absolutely fucking hate low carb days. We're going to see the difference. You'll see the difference immediately. I mean, you probably already do. I probably already look more swollen than I did in the fucking arm video that we just filmed. It's crazy because whenever I watched, went back and watched that video, I'm like, man, you could, there wasn't like, I was so flat that you didn't see a lot of the separation. And it's just crazy how like the, how water sits on the body when you're flat. It's fucking wild. And I know, I said in the video, I'm not gonna take the demo day to see what happens because I stuck to the fucking program. I should have took the fucking demo day after watching back because I would have been nuts.
you know, there's only like, there's really only one rule that you need to follow when you're in the gym trying to make progress. Just don't be a fucking pussy. That's it. Any program will work to the amount of effort you put into it. I just love working out. Like, I just love it. Even if you're not having the greatest day in the gym, it's still a better day than no gym at all. You could be depleted, dehydrated, having shit lifts, and it's still better than no lifts at all. The way you look right now is from the amount of work and effort you put into your body. That's it. Whenever I was a little, a little bit of a skinny, chubby, skinny fat going on at the end of the year and stressed out beyond belief, not eating the best of foods, the reason I looked the way I did was because of the fucking things that I was doing in my life. The reason I look the way I do today is because of exactly what I'm doing in my life. And I think that it's fun to still like, get excited about what you want to look like and have goals. But just remember, when you go into the gym, focus on the task at hand. Don't get ahead of yourself. When it's time to do barbell rows and pull downs, do barbell rows and pull downs. It's all you think about. In the zone, focused, good tunes. And whatever good tunes are you, whether they're heavy metal or fucking Harry Styles, I don't give two flying fucks. All I care about is you not being a pussy, giving everything you fucking got. Okay, working in the biceps. We did back and now we're doing bys. Now, these next two bicep exercises, exercises I absolutely fucking hate. I do not like reverse grip uh, barbell curls and I do not like incline dumbbell curls. However, whenever you watch me and you see it happen, you will understand why we do them. I particularly like these simply because they are great overall arm exercises. Forearms, brachialis, bicep. Let's take a look. Thickening the arms. And after you do back, your forearms are already a little smoke. You feel it in your grip. Great exercise to start with. Three sets. You're working between 8 and 15 reps per set. Nothing wrong with also doing some partials. Like say you're doing your exercise and you end up starting to fail at the end. Nothing wrong with getting some partials. You feel burn in your forearms. This is one of those exercises as you're doing it, like when you're looking in the mirror, you're able to see what's occurring. So that way, even though I absolutely fucking hate the exercise, I'm watching it do what the fuck it's supposed to do and motivating me to keep going because I don't care what anybody says. If there's an, an exercise that you absolutely hate, you will, it will fuck with your head while you're doing it and it will be uh, a negative effect. You'll be like, ah, I fucking hate these. They're not working, they're not working. I don't like doing them. They work. At least that's how it works in my head. So. Whenever I'm in the mirror watching it occur, I'm like, yep, keep doing them, motherfucker. Even though you don't like them, 
because they're hard, they're difficult. A few more steps. Concentration curls. Now, I love concentration curls, especially when you're super lean and it looks cool and you feel cool and all that happy shit. It's like having a good fucking dick day. Whenever your dick is just thick, veiny, you're like, I need to take a picture. That's how I feel about concentration curls whenever I'm super lean. So, bunch of different ways to do concentration curls. I like cables because it keeps constant tension on the bicep. So, you can do them like so. Yeah, super cool. Or you can do them like so. Constant tension, look great, feel it. You're positioned in different ways so it's hitting the bicep differently. However, still a concentration curl, just hitting it in a different angle. Again, straight on, or right here. If you pull forward, it's gonna pull on your bicep from behind, kinda like an incline curl, then if I'm here, it hits a little bit different. There's nothing wrong with any of them, but this is that part of training that it is your job to figure out what works best for you. So that means while you're doing the exercises and connecting with it, you need to be paying attention. Is this beneficial or is this way better? I look better and feel cooler when I do it this way, but I think I'm getting bigger from doing this, or I'm getting better from doing it this way, or do both and shut the fuck up. It's your choice, it's your body. <laughs> Figure it out, tons of fun. Okay, another form of a concentration curl is this. You see me do it all the time to warm up on arm day. I specifically bought this piece of equipment just to warm up. I love it for warm ups. however, also good for concentration curls. It's the two-handed or double pulleyed uh, row machine, seated row, but put these on and rather than do rows, I just like to do bicep curls. So, one arm at a time, two hands. Five this side, or two this side, two this side. I like it because of the options. Whenever you're doing any type of concentration curl, the goal is to get the good contraction, the squeeze, the stretch, and then feel and connect with that uh, body part that you're doing. I don't think you can go wrong with any of them as long as you're not being a fucking idiot and being a complete pussy. Make sure that you are optimizing with every single exercise. You could do concentration curls on the single, you can do it on the double, you can do it standing, you can do it seated, you can do it fucking from behind, intertwined, whatever the fuck way you wanna do it. It's gonna work as long as you are feeling the connection with the bicep and being very, very objective with yourself and saying, fuck yeah, these are working. And then also pay attention throughout the day, the next day and the following day of how you look from the workout that you did. Just because Seth Ferrosi said it was a good idea or anybody said it was a good idea and then you go to try to apply it and if it doesn't work for you, maybe take as much as you can from the workout, take as many different tactics from all these different people and start trialing them for yourself, okay? That's all I did to get good at this. I just paid attention. I did Jay Cutler's workout. I did fucking Ronnie Coleman's work. I tried to do Ronnie Coleman's workout. Victor Martinez, Dexter Jackson, Marcus Rule, Dennis Wolf, Branch Warren. I did so many different types of people's workouts throughout the years of me doing this. I started to design my own uh, programs and then my own workouts and my own philosophies. 
It doesn't happen overnight, people. Okay, so take your time, connect with the work, work with your workouts, put the good tunes in, come in with a purpose, execute, and have a fucking blast, and just pay attention. That's all you got to do. So, thank you for watching. Make sure that you check out the bio for the full full workout. Give it a try for yourself. Slap the old lady on the ass. Have a wonderful day.